Hello, and welcome to me, Diecast Mafia Invitational, and this month it's for the Ford Torino, Talladego, and this is my starting point, the basic Hot Wheels casting, and there's some things I liked about this, so... You'll see me go in a different direction to normal. There's some things I wanted to leave as is. And some things I didn't. I end up with quite a nice result, I think. And anyway, off we go. And here, as usual, drill out the bits. Just get out the stumps and then I'll basically unclip it, take it out, need a little bit of extra drilling on that one and there we go, it's undone and at this point we drill the posts, drill it with 1.7mm drill bit to take a 2 milli tap after so I can use my M2 cross headed screws and here I'm tapping actually I speeded up that up a bit too much and filing here I've masked all the car off and it's getting map max spray for the roof And here, I'm using a pin vise to drill out the exhausts. So they look a bit better. I used two bigger drill at start and it did one pipe and the second pipe didn't play ball. But it's still good, it's still seeable. And here I've painted the black part back panel over the chrome and I'm putting in tail lights and what I do just dab it in because it's raised, raised detail just smear it off and the paint stops in the recess and you get your raised detail chrome does quite a good job and here I'm just dotting in the headlights with some pallid witch flesh it's called a very off whitey grey colour and here I'm doing the yellow for the number plates just to give it a bit better look And at this point I'm using like a British Racing Green nail varnish and it's to touch up, it's a pretty good match for where the tampo hasn't made it to the wheel arch where it should have done and just so it doesn't look odd. And that's one side done pretty much. I did the same to the other side. And there we go. Anyway here I've masked off the roof. And what I'm doing is going into the Createx candy. I'm using like a aquamarine colour forget the name of the colour I'm just laying it on at first gingerly see where I want to go with the colour and here it's a bit darker and later on you don't see it here because I didn't pick it up on my video I don't think I added a well, what was meant to be a splash of red candy, oh no, here it is. There were meant to have been a splash of red candy, 
but I put too much in and it made it a bit dark but it ain't even so it's livable wet and here the windscreen is just going for a splash in the floor polish go for another one because it had a boogie on it and there we go next thing you know I'll be shutting the jar and putting it to the back to wait till I'm ready to do my next screen and there's a little set of bark that's really useful I bought it for the triangular bits because I have a Hot Wheels McDonald's hot rod that uses triangular bits. So I bought a good set of mixed variety bits should see me through right. But anyway here we are ready for assembly and at this point I'm taking out the screws that have been left in it. Well, technically, the screws and washers, because I used washers as well. And at this point, I'm putting in my new wheel set. I put some green light wheels in. It's the BF Goodrich set. I've used one set of one type of wheels for the front and a larger type of wheels from the same set for the rear there we are, I had to spin the base round I tried putting it on back to front at first and just plonk one screw in there get my screwdriver and give it a do whizzy do there and we're together again that side Get the other screw, place that in, a bit more off camera that one was there, screwdriver bit in and whiz that together and there we are, body and base are back together and at this point I've done really too light a coat on the roof so I've masked it off a little bit in areas I want to touch up like at the back there where I pointed to with brush but I'm just dotting in etc on the roof I sprayed some of my spray can paint into the lid and used the brush with it there I am just dotting in the paint just to make it look tidier And at this point I'm coming round the back to paint in the rear line near the boot where I'd masked up to because at first the, I hadn't masked quite far enough down and it had left a white line oh no actually I think there I can still see it I don't think I've painted it in yet I think it's going in there There was just a bit of a white line where I hadn't masked quite up to the line I wanted where I wanted it and there we are that's been masked up painted and ready for removing the masking tape <coughs> excuse me just have a drink me cool head And at this point, I've got a Vallejo black wash, just we visited over the grills and headlights to bring the details out. Anyway, there's my starting point. I can't call it beaten and battered this time because it's uh, it wasn't boxed when I got it, but it's a new pretty much unplayed with casting I'd say 
out of somebody's collection and it's just begging for a do-up really as it is it's not it's okay I guess for our wheels but what not one of the nicest ones I'd guess anyway from this here we go to the reveal of where I went with it and here we go the paints turned out really nice I'm really happy with it it'd have been much nicer if it had been a pearl or metallic for the candy to go over but as it is it still looks damn good especially if you put a bit of light on it which I will do later on you can see the flames under the candy you can see them in the lighter area there but it looks better when light hits it but yeah I'm very happy with the paint job on this one I just wanted to do something for a change because I like the flames on it and I didn't want to strip off the paint here we are the lights gone up so you can see the flames better underneath the candies and the wheels or as I've said from the green light BF Goodrich set I've chose the small, a smaller set for the front and a larger set for the rear it's kept its stancy dad because I like the fact that it was really low here's a second angle on the car a bit higher viewpoint and it's looking outstanding with a few little details I've done it's not been quite as an involved build as others I do I'd have done but I felt it just needed that little extra the just the white and plain white and green flames were a little on the boring side they weren't they were nice don't get me wrong but they were slightly on the boring side and I give it about I think it was three quarts of clear and as I say it looks really nice there with the shine sliding down bodywork as it revolves and I'll do I'm leaving it with some beauty shots and as I say every time if you haven't subscribed please press that button to subscribe to me I get infinitely more that view the channel that haven't subscribed I think it's something like 90 10 there's about 90 that haven't subscribed and 10 that have it'd be super if some of the 90 could subscribe and as I say here we go on to another picture and at this point I'll wish you all well I'll give a quick mention to diecast fixer uppers Lee if you get the time take a look at his channel pop in see how he's doing and as I say wish everybody well Stay clear of the Rona and take care. Catch you later.